All right, guys, just want to show you this. Um, basically, a lot of you will probably remember this car from my other videos. It once had a silver bonnet and a silver front bumper. Well, up until about a month ago, they still had them. What I managed to get was a painted uh, bonnet and bumper from an RS2000 that someone was breaking. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the wing up till today. So, managed to get one. It's not perfect. There's some scabs down the bottom. Uh, this is all cracked, but basically the cabriolet has a longer sill. So this rust at the bottom doesn't matter. I can cut it off along that seam. Probably, I'll probably just give it a little bit extra. So just below that seam, two millimeter extra, sh straight up there. Um, and I've got one of these from the original bump, from the original wing. So that doesn't matter. And I'm going to bolt it on. So I'm going to cheat. I'm not going to weld it. I'm going to bolt it on. It's perfectly legal to bolt it on. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. But basically, door's got to come off. The inner arch has got to come off. The front bumper and the headlight. And it should be a couple hours job. I'll treat the rust on this with some Genolite before I put it on. So... I put some general light under there and grind it down, put some general light on and then put some etch primer on. And I'll probably even just brush the etch, etch primer on underneath the wing. So job done. Got my black cabriolet back. And it will be looking better than it has done for a long time. For peanuts. Anyways, I'll let you know how I get on. Cheers for watching guys. Okay guys, um, I've got all the loose rust off, I used a little Dremel multi-tool, okay, and then I tidied it up, so I just ground away randomly, and then I tidied it up with a wire wheel, with a wire brush. Um, it was quite difficult to get in the gap, but I've painted lots of Genolite in there. What Genolite is, it's a rust remover, it will just eat away any of the remaining rust, and it will turn it black. Got to give it about 15 minutes. Um, because of the area of where this is, I may rub it down or get the wire wheel back in there, see what else I can remove, and then paint it again. But I'll, I'll see how it goes, okay? And yeah, hopefully, after about 15 minutes, that area will be really black and the iron oxide will have reacted, okay? Okay, guys, as you can see, I've cut the bottom of the wing off. Um, Test fit in it, before, I haven't painted it yet, so just test fit in it. And I've just noticed that this needs to be cut. So the inner liner is too long from the RS2000. So I'm gonna cut it out there and then bring it back and see what else, Need see how much more needs to be trimmed off the bottom. Okay, so I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've cut straight along there and I've just folded the metal back. Okay, um, it's still got the paint on it so it's probably better for rust purposes and things like that. Um, the bottom, it won't be a million miles away. When I bend, so I'm going to make a little incision there, little incision there, and I'm going to bend this round and it'll give the wing something uh, to hold onto the sill with. I'll probably stick a screw or something through the back. I'm not going to weld it, but yeah. Get in there. Okay, guys. Well, I haven't finished. I've spent the last hour and a half trying to get the panel gaps as good as I can get. It's not too bad. Um, this bonnet needs to come slightly over that way. That's for definite. <laughs> Okay, the bonnet's been off recently. I, I never spent any time putting it back on. I just whacked it straight on. Um, yeah, so I'm not too concerned about that gap. But what I am concerned about is there's a gap there. Um, it had a fair whack at the front on this side. 
so it's never going to be perfect. Um, yeah, I'll add a picture of it, crash damage. But basically, the gap's not too bad looking at it from a side view, but it is when you look down the car. I'll have a play tomorrow when I've got some light. Um, I've cleaned up the bottom of these, I've bent it round. I will put a weld at the bottom. I might be able to get this gap inwards a little bit further by playing with the bolts on the inside, but yeah, I'll be back in the morning. I've I'm giving up. I'll see you in the morning, guys. Okay, guys, next day, and it's done. Panel gaps are good. Um, it was just the two nuts inside, so I wiggled it about. Uh, took the two nuts off, wiggled it about, and, yeah, got it lined up. And it looks good. Um, I bolted it back on up here. I did weld it at the bottom, I put some acid etch, some primer, and then some seam seal on it, and it's good. I haven't welded up here, I just bolted it. Some MOT stations will be funny about that, but it's perfectly fine with Vosa. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say really. So it looks pretty good. The bumper needs slight adjustment. Um, got a little bit of a gap here, but I only put that on temporarily. I need to pull it off to wire the fog lights up, and I'll do that another day. Put the wings on. Uh, I'll probably respray the car in a couple of years' time, and that's when I will weld the wing back on. And yeah, cool. So let me know if you've got any questions and thanks for watching.